Let's invent Bitcoin together. As you probably already know, Bitcoin is a monetary system that allows you to digitally transfer value 24-7 anywhere in the world without going through an intermediary. In this episode, we will take a deep dive into the heart of Bitcoin to reinvent from scratch the mechanism that makes it all possible. Proof of work. Cash transactions. If I hand you a dollar, you don't need to know who I am to accept it. You simply need to make sure that the bill isn't fake. This is the hallmark of a cash transaction. Intermediaries and Digital Currency When two people exchange goods for cash, they neither need to know or even trust each other. One person brings the goods, the other brings the cash. The exchange takes place and the transaction is complete. Before the discovery of Bitcoin, when it came to digital transactions, we had no choice but to rely on and trust third-party intermediaries. These third parties oversee the transactions, making sure that the money is available and that it is transferred properly, for instance, from the customer's account to the restaurant owner's account. Banks are ledgers. So, that's what banks are for. They maintain a ledger that tracks all of their customers' digital currency holdings. Cutting out the middleman. A first step in trying to get rid of this third-party intermediary would be to distribute the transaction ledger in such a way that it would no longer be maintained by a single institution. It would instead be shared by every user of this new monetary system. But how can we get everyone to agree on a system in which some users might turn out to be dishonest or unreliable? A naive solution would simply be to appoint an honest bookkeeper. Bob would take care of the master ledger and then inform all participants of all transactions so that they in turn can keep their own copy of this ledger. This system works very well, except that one day, Bob decides to go on holiday and the system breaks down. Let's create a lottery. Another solution could be to randomly choose the person responsible for writing down the transactions on the ledger. Since our system is open to everyone, we would need to find a way to make sure that no one can take advantage of the system. So, we could run a lottery. The system will need to have the following features. Each participant will need to be able to generate their own lottery ticket in the form of a digital signature. We will have to find a way to make it expensive to participate in this lottery. And it will also have to be very easy for all participants to verify the winning combination simply by examining this digital signature. Thus, we will need to make sure that generating the digital signature has a cost. Otherwise, each participant could potentially generate an unlimited number of them, which is like having the ability to generate and own all the lottery tickets. Proof of work. The technology behind Bitcoin mining, called proof of work, is similar to participating in a game of chance much like rolling a die. But instead of having six sides, the virtual die used by computers would have as many sides as the number of atoms in the universe. In practical terms, the computer uses its computing power to generate billions of digital signatures in the hope of finding the winning combination. In doing so, it consumes electricity. Block Subsidy Once the lucky computer finds the winning combination, it gets the privilege of writing the transactions into the ledger. 
by winning this lottery, it gets the right to award itself some freshly minted coins. It is through this process that Bitcoins are distributed to miners. In conclusion, thanks to the discovery of Bitcoin, it is now possible to make a digital cash transaction without needing to go through an intermediary. This is an absolute breakthrough.